D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified, and this, and now, in this video, I'll be doing a continuation of the Mitsubishi City Multi Service Tool, okay? And the reason why I'm doing this video, the last video I did, it got handed abruptly because the camera pretty much cut out on me during the recording, so I was interrupted, so it was a pretty short video. So I'm gonna go over real quick what happened in that video. And then I'm gonna show you how to look at the data, how to save your data. Right, so like real time, right now we're, I'm, I'm monitoring the system. Oh, look at it, look at this camera, it's going crazy. I'm monitoring the system, and uh, I'm also recording. So you can see here, that's 87 minutes so far. 87 minutes so far that I've been monitoring, or my computer is in the uh, has been in the monitoring mode. Right, I don't know why the camera is going like that, but um, let's get into it. Okay, so the picked up where we left off or where I left off from the last video, um, and I'm gonna leave a link to that video down below in the description. Just check in the description, and you can watch the other two videos. Actually, I'm gonna leave a link to both videos in the description, so we'll show you how to get connected and set up to the system. Currently, I am not on the roof. As you can see, I'm downstairs, all right? If you're wondering why this is here, this is a heat gun, because I had to put some refrigerant in the system. It was low on refrigerant, and you know, I have to warm up the refrigerant tank. The refrigerant tank was cold, but that's what I is there. And, ugh, so, come in with that, here we go. So right now, I'm connected on this here, this right here. M1, M2 on the indoor unit, okay? That's where my tool is connected. Unlike this video, you know, it was connected on the roof, okay? So there you go. There's a control board right there, and I'm connected over there. Okay, so if you want more information, just see the videos. Link is gonna be in the description below. So let's get back at it. <clears throat> so. Here we have, see all these green things, if you want to know how to do that, or to highlight it, you can just put your mouse pointer, your mouse, your mouse pointer on the thing that you want to highlight and just double tap. Isn't that cool? All right. So these are all my indoor units. All right, and these are the capacities right here on this line. Okay, um, I don't know what unit these are, but I know that these are the capacities, QJ is the capacities. Okay, these are your indoor unit thermistors, there are three of them. This, this one is your space temperature right here. Okay, there's a space temperature. Okay, all right, so this piece is nice and warm. And this is your uh, evaporator outlet temperature but you know in the heating mode it was re it's reversed so you can inlet or outlet based on the mode you're in um, this one here also inlet outlet based on the mode you're in so if you're in heating mode this is inlet and if you're in the and this is the outlet so inlet outlet heating mode and it's reversed for cooling here you have your real time superheater sub cooling and again that is based on the mode if uh, you're in a cooling mode that's your um, superheat and if you are in the heating mode it's your sub cooling so that's why it says sh slash sc all right so units operating mode operating uh, 
heating mode, heater on, etc. Uh, metering device right here, LEV valve. All right, all right. So let's look at uh, the refrigerant diagram. Click on that. And you can see flowing nice. This is a compressor right here. All right. And over here is your indoor units. Okay, if you have questions regarding this, just leave it in the comment section because, like I said, you know, it's uh, it would be very long to go through all the details of this tool right here. So I'm going to scroll down to the second condenser because there's two condensers in pairs. If you remember, if you watched a previous video, you would have seen that. Again, the link is going to be in the description, previous video. Second condenser right there. And you can see this what's going on. All right. So let's show you how to save this data. So I'm going to go on uh, return. Click on that. And then I'm going to say finish monitoring. I'm going to say yes. Okay, so it's going this way. Let's wait for it. All right. So here, if we're typing um, the area. I don't know what area I'm going to say. NYC, it's New York City. And I'm going to say customer D2. Oh, what the hell am I doing? You know what? I'm gonna say customer YouTube. <laughs> Why? Oh. U T U P E. And then what I'm gonna say system. Uh, that's uh, uh, 2 A B. So this is basically you labeling it as best as you know. All right, um, if it's, uh, let's just say it's apartment four, the label it apartment four, um, system one, label it accordingly so you know, put the customer name right there, the system, whether it's system one, system two, whatever. So I just call it system two AB, all right? And then comment, I'm gonna say, added refrigerant. Okay. All right, so I'm going to save, and then you're going to hit save right here. Boom. Okay. And now you're back to the main screen. Now, if you want to know how to get to this screen, video in the description, I'm going to leave it. Okay. So let's go back to check our save data. And I'm going to go, you're going to hit return. Okay, go to mode select. And so, if you want to check your uh, save data, I, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unplug the tool so you can see that, you know, it's actually save data and it's not real data. And I'm gonna go ahead and close the, close the, close the, uh, the application and relaunch it. And then we're gonna find our save data. Come on. Okay, so exit. Okay, so let me relaunch. Okay, so I'm loading up. Okay, so if you noticed, oh, come on, camera. If you noticed, in this corner, there's nothing there. If you watched the previous video, and I'm gonna leave in the description, you will see the difference, right? So there's nothing there because I am not connected to my uh, device or, or my MN converter or my service tool. All right, so let's go into what we'll do here. So we got offline mode analyze. All right, and we're gonna click on that. All right, so we just checked offline analyzed. 
we're going to go here and say select okay so once you hit select you see it brings up all your saved files okay all your saved files so wherever whatever you have, you had saved i got a whole bunch of files in my as you can see i've got a whole bunch of files or data that have saved you know over my travels right wow it's a lot all right so let's go and find the one we just did hold on a sec okay so also i want to show you something here so you can click on customer and there's a drop down menu and you can just it's in alphabetical order so we're looking for youtube all right there it is in the bottom so youtube we just did that we just saved that okay and we said added refrigerant nyc all right so i'm gonna go ahead and just double click on that Okay, my computer bugged out for a little bit. I can double click on it. Sometimes I got gloves on, so it's a pain, you know, sometimes it doesn't work. You double click on it and you're in. Okay. So there you go. I got 93 minutes. And I can skip through the minutes. I could skip all the way to the end. That's where it was at the end. All indoor units. I don't think we have the refrigerant diagram in this one. Let's see. No, we don't have that. Okay, we do. Oh, that's an upgrade, right? Wow. All right, so we do have the refrigerant diagram. How about that? Okay, so I can skip back. I can skip back by going 90 second minute. And it turned and it's changing the screenshot during that time. All right, so I'm just replaying everything. Right. I could just replay, I could skip, I could go all the way to the beginning of the data, minute number one. Okay. So you got all that. So if you, you can do this at home, analyze the data. You know what I'm saying? Look at it with your friends and family. I'm just kidding. You can send this to Mr. Beach if you want, for them to analyze it and tell you what's wrong with your system if you can't do it yourself. All right. And uh, I want to, sh you know what? I'll do another video. Yes, come leave in the comment if you want to see me to do a video of how you convert or prepare the file to send it to Mr. Bishi. Then I'll do that as well. But it's it's rather you got to change it to a a particular format, right? Or, and and save it to a particular format before you send that or email it to Mr. Bishi. But there you go. All right. That's pretty much it for this video. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe. Subscribe. Videos uploaded on a weekly basis. Okay, so I can scroll now to the other condenser. Condenser number two. Here it is. Okay, there's two condensers that mix up this particular system and here are my indoor units and the same way I can scroll down okay so yeah that pretty much sums it up for this video all right Are you still watching? Okay, then you're special. Nice and hot.